Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up? Yo, this message is for Hamilton. How you doing, man? I I know exactly how you feel, buddy. Hey, I've been there and done that. And I really don't know the words to tell you. Uh, but I try to answer your question the best I can, man. I mean, I, I hope this helped you along the way. As far as um, knowing the, the point where you fed up, you had enough, um, you you just don't want to be in this game anymore. It's by your own preferences, dude. I mean, me, you want to know when I first realized that I was fed up, I had enough. You're gonna be out there, sir, Mr. Hamilton. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I call you Mr. Hamilton. I know I'm older than you, but hey, I respect everybody. And I'm going, and you're a man. And being a man out there, dude, I mean, you gotta think about the family. I mean, sure, you can make all the money in the world on the, being out there. Uh, but the only point of the whole sale, dude, is that you're gonna to have to be out there. You can't go visit parents. You can't go see your wife, your kids. They don't matter when you're on the truck. When you're out there driving that truck for these companies, um, only thing that matters is that load to them. You do not matter. You do not matter. <laughs> so just keep in mind, you out on the road, you're driving their loads, making their, they want their loads delivered no matter what. They don't want you going home. They don't want you seeing your wife and kids. Uh, they don't want you even spending a little time with them. The time you spend, they're gonna they're gonna be timing you so they can get you back on them loads so they can make more money. So the point you got to come up with is: is it worth it? What's the goals? Where are you trying to go with this? And that's the question you ask me. My goals was to start my own trucking business, not to be out here driving these trucks myself. But letting other people drive for me. <laughs> but that goal didn't work quite well. I mean, um, I was thinking I'd go out, earn a little money for about a year or two. Every time I save up, I'll save it up to buy my first truck. And then while I'm out there, I have someone driving that truck making more money. But plans don't always go the way you plan. You just got to have an ambition. You just got to have something that you want to gain out of this uh, you're making big sacrifices when it comes to your family those memories those 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 times together that you're missing you can't get them back I, I miss a lot of my son myself so I know how you feel and I can't get them back but what's important is that you're making the best of what is present and what's the future to come. You gotta focus on the present. You gotta focus on what you have now. Um, what you have now is a, is, a, is, a, is a choice. A choice whether you feel that it's something that you're gonna, be, you're gonna accomplish anything out of or something that you don't wanna do. Um, there's local jobs, like I said, I'm doing a dirty local job. They, hey, it's not the best, but hey, I'm home with the family nights and weekends. People are gonna tell you, oh man, you don't wanna do local. Oh, uh, local, no, no, no. no. Uh, dude, go with your heart. Go with your heart, Hamilton. <laughs> go with your heart, man. Don't, don't focus on, good to listen to the opinions. As far as the, the functionality of the truck, uh, funch, uh, functionality on how to do lows, uh, the machinery, uh, uh, all that good stuff. It's good to listen to those opinions. 
But when it comes to making a decision of your own mind, your own ambition, your own goals, you, I'm pointing to you, yeah, I hate to point, but you are the one that make that decision. Is your wife worth it? Is your child, daughter or son, is worth it? I mean, you got to spend the family time. The family time is one of the most important things. And guys, this is everybody. I mean, you got to know what you want in life. And you got to make it, if you have a family, don't be stupid. <laughs> Include the family. If you Now, if you're one of those husbands that don't care, <laughs> that's fine. Do what you got to do. <laughs> but hey, that's your choice. Child support, alimony. So don't complain when you got to work hard out there. You got to push your butt to pieces to pay those alimony, those child support. Don't complain. <laughs> you did it to yourself. <laughs> so don't don't blame the world for the mistakes that you make. The world is not their fault on the mistakes that you make. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, someone have to be honest about these things. I'm an honest individual. I'm a Christian man, and I'm gonna always be honest. If you subscribe to me, you're talking to me. I'm gonna give you the truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna ring it around a bush. I'm not gonna tell you a lot of BS. I don't care. I don't care who's. I don't care about the angry comments or the upset. I don't care, dude. Uh, Hamilton, I want to be honest with you. I want to be honest with everybody out there that ask me questions. I want to tell them the truth. They want the truth. If you don't want the truth, that's fine. There's a lot out there you don't have to. They can tell you a bunch of lies. <laughs> but uh, if you want the truth, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Um, it's not a sale pitch. It's not a game. It's just a fact, dude. There's no point of return. So when you go forward with trucking, it's where you're going. It's what you're gonna do. You gotta keep in mind you're gonna miss a lot when it comes to you having a family. I know I, I've been there. I done that. And I can speak from my own experience. <laughs> and I'm speaking from my own experience. <laughs> and you know, I don't regret anything I've done. But I regret the things that I haven't did it. The things I haven't did is what I regret the most. And Hamilton, the things I haven't did is I haven't built what I wanted to build for my family. I'm going to build it. The God of my witness, I'm going to build it. And I'm not going to stop until I build it. And you've got to keep going for what you want to do, dude. But you got to find a solution where the family is included. If you love your family, you love your wife. I'm not talking about those that don't love their wives, don't love the kids. Now, I don't have nothing to do with that. what they do. That's their personal business. If they want to pay all, like I said again, if you want to pay all the money, child support, do all that good stuff, that's your choice. Don't complain. But I'm talking to you, the ones that really, the ones that really love their wife and their children. I'm telling you point blank. If you love those people in your life the most, Nothing is impossible. And in reality to that, you got to include your family. Your family have to be important to what your goals are. I'm sorry to talk it that way, but hey, I put point blank out. Hey, and Father's got um knowing when you had enough, when enough had been done, you're gonna know. When your heart tells you that you just can't do this anymore, then there you had enough. And then there you gotta go with plan two. And that is what you have for plan B before. Plan two. Go with it. You gotta go for it. You gotta do what's best for you and your family. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you asking me the question, guy. I mean, I know you didn't include me in the video. <laughs> Hey, that's the, I just playing with you. But anyway, in reality, guys, seriously, uh, I was hope that this information was very wise to you. Um, I'm sorry to put it so blunt, but I just wanted to make sure you understood um, the, the the choice that you did made to go into trucking. Uh, there was a lot of disadvantages to it, and you 
obviously someone didn't give you all the disadvantages and I just wanted to give them to you now. Um, me, I went in it knowing the consequences, knowing the disadvantages, and that's why I said to myself, I gotta get home, I gotta get home, I gotta get home. And I got to the point, that point, felt it in my heart, that point where I needed to go home to my family. And I'm home to my family now. Driving a local day cab, uh, delivering feed to, uh, to farms, but I don't give a hoot. I'm getting a check every week. I'm saving money for my first truck. And the next time I go out on my truck, it's gonna be my truck. Own and operate <laughs> Hey, Hey, um, feel free to email me, guy. I mean, Douglas Dupree at me.com. Feel to email me any questions, man. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Hey, and like I said, there's a lot of info out there given to you about making money, making money, but they don't tell you to kick. You gotta always stay on the road. You never go home to your family. Forget about family. Stay on the road. That's what they're telling you. <laughs> but also they're single. You wanna listen to someone that knows family values. And I'm one of them. So there's a lot of millions of them out there that's driving trucks. You wanna listen to somebody that have family values. Ones that wanna go home and see their families. Ones that want to share some quality time with their family. You're going to hear, even going to hear their comment. Uh, they'll be happy when I send them the money home. They'll be happy when I make that money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all you say, man. Just, okay. <laughs> all right. She making that money. Taking that money home. You stay out on the road. When she gets feeling kind of lonely and want to be out with her friends and they start taking their script joints and start taking a nice round a lot of casual nice fellas look more prettier than you <laughs> keep sending the money she'll share it <laughs> as a just but anyway all right man i i'm gonna get back to work i'm gonna do me about two or three more love